Hi everybody, uh, welcome to Art One, and we're going to um, do a basically a black and white contour basic on a value sketch. Okay, and what is a value sketch? It's always done in black and white, and it always is done with one color, so it's monochromatic. If you don't know what that word is, look it up because there'll be a test on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to take we're going to do a contour drawing like what I've done right here, and a contour drawing is basically one just a, a rendering now typically you want to draw this stuff out now i always transfer things down so that's what we'll do okay we'll transfer things down and work on that basically you can transfer them down you can actually go back in and hone you know hone the you know the sketch if you want that's not quite what you want you want uh you can go in here and rework it i see some you know shadows here you know i can do that and notice I'm holding my pencil the way I'm holding my pencil. So when I'm rendering, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm also looking here. I'm, I'm looking here more than I'm actually looking here. And the reason why, because I want to make sure that what I got is exactly what I need. Now, anybody can do this. This isn't, this isn't just for people who know how to paint or draw or any of that kind of stuff. Anybody can do this. It's a way of just kind of relaxing a little bit. So... The first thing we do is we transfer down the work. We block it off here with four lines. So in your, in your tracing using the carbon paper, you'll find you'll do that. If you don't know what carbon paper is, it's this stuff right here. If I, that has two sides, the dark side, and this is the back side. So you don't want to have this, if you're, if you're trying to transfer this stuff down, you don't want to have it like this, because if I do anything, you know, it's not putting it down on the paper, it's actually putting it on the back of the sketch. But if I turn it the other way, and use it like so, I can come in here, and you can kind of see, I don't have my glasses on, so. I'll add a little more to this than over there. So when I lift it back up, I now have that part of the sketch. So remember, the side face is your blank paper. This side face is your transfer, and it should be it should be pretty easy on that. So now, uh, now that we've got that kind of laid out, my next step here will just be my first. What I'm what, now I'm going to be sitting back here. Let me move the camera so you can kind of see here a little bit. Maybe that'll work. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, what I'm going to do is you'll watch my head while I'm doing this because I don't want to be looking here so much as here. So all I'm going to come in here and do is I'm just going to notice I'm holding my pencil. I'm, if you watch my head, I'm just going to put one value down there. I'm not in values like we did. If you've done your value scales, And you're going to be able to do this. Now, this is a precursor to painting, and actually, your sculptors do this all the time. So it's not like a, it's not like it's a sole one medium that actually does this, or one one philosophy or one uh, type of artist that does this. Now, I know you can barely see that, so. And I do apologize. So, and one thing I want to do is on some of these, of course, I want to come up to the line and do this because some of this is going to either go lighter or darker on the outside of this. And I'm basically just putting in all these, just kind of like one value here. So, I, this is what we call kind of a, a you know a basic value sketch is all it is. Now, where it changes though is what I do next. So, I'm going to come in here. And if you can kind of see, let me see here, we got this right here. And I will try to stay within the lines of this. Now anybody can do this, right? So this isn't that hard. So I'm gonna come here. Now I'm gonna use all type of, all types of ways of doing this. I'm gonna use my fingers, I can use paper towels, I can take this and, you know, blur my vision and take a look at this. I'm going to do that. 
you know, they come over here, and this is kind of a little different. We've got to look here to find out where it goes. So I'm going to go like this right here. I'm going to use what they call a comparative measurement. So I'm going to take the distance here. I'm going to do like that. And that gives me that place where that dark spot is on his hair. Uh, let me see here. We're going to come here. And this is sporadic. So you have to, you have to invent something here to really make it work. So you're, you don't necessarily want to have it completely solid. Okay, because you've got a difference between these values here and these values here. And there's even a value out here that's lighter. So here's going to be pretty easy behind his ear. And move around your pain. You don't stay in one area. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to keep looking. And that's there. And I can put one value down and kind of get an idea of where I want everything to be. Okay. So I can come here a little bit, I can come here a little bit, I can come down here a little bit, because everything's explained in the photograph. So just so you know. So this is the first stage. I want to put down basically my first value, and kind of get it in there, and I'm going to go this way here with that, because that right there, and this gives me kind of a, a really light sketch. You can kind of see him appearing here a little bit. Now the next stage is going to be more development, but if I wanted to, this value out here and this value out here, I can take this and do this the same value because this is actually going to go darker on his cheek, so I'm going to use a different value there. But that wasn't too hard, was it? So use your pencil like this, just put it in really quick, doesn't have to be exact, and this is actually the first step. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed it, and there it is. I'm, I'm going to pull you I'll pull you in a little closer so you can actually see it. And so you can kind of see it's a very light sketch. It is not heavy. So if you decide to come in, I'll have some of these printed off so you can try to do them. And I'm only going to be doing this on the free Saturday, on the Saturdays, so that we come in and do this. So I'll always open the doors up. Uh, I'll see if I can teach on those days because it's only, it's only limited to five instructors. So if I'm here, it's a good time to come and try this. So you can learn how to do value sketches. You can learn how to work with these values. You can actually work this. And anybody can do this. And don't tell me you can't do it because I, I've worked with everybody on your level. So it's not, if you don't know how to do it, that's perfect. Okay? So anyway, uh, this is Mr. Bowers. Hope you enjoyed this. A real simple one. It's all uh, really quick. Uh, we'll go continue with the pencil in my next video. So this is the first step. Okay, hold on.